Mina, Gunbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Apologize for not putting up any videos yesterday. I am going to put up four videos today. Two preaching and two video game or some kind of video that is not directly preaching to make up for yesterday. Uh, my schedule is weird this time. It was kind of a it's kind of doing a thing over the course of the two days. So Although, honestly, I could have found time to do it, so I was like, am I innocent this time? Did I make it out? Do I have a legitimate reason? No, not not honestly, not really. I, I could have put out something yesterday, so my mistake, I will make up for it tonight, and on with the message. This message is going to be coming out of Second Chronicles chapter 36. I'm going to start at verse 1. Then the people of the land took Jehoahaz, the son of Josiah, and made him king in his father's place in Jerusalem. Jehoahaz was twenty-three years old when he became king, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. Now the king of Egypt deposed him in Jerusalem, and he imposed on the land a talent <clears throat> I'm sorry, a tribute of one hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. And that obviously that is a ridiculously short range. That's that that's silly. And you go back into Second Kings chapter 23, and go down to verse 31. Jehoahaz was 23 years old when he became king, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. So this incredibly short reign did come from an evil king. It's interesting because most of the short reigns in the Book of the Kings and Chronicles, usually the short reigns were from evil kings. Not saying that good men can't be assassinated. As a matter of fact, Josiah did disobey the Lord, but he's, his reign was still cut short. And he, he made one mistake, and that was not listening to the commandment of God through the voice of a non-believer, um, a heathen, and by disobeying that word, by missing that, he died. And that's a, I could preach a whole message on that. That's actually not the point that I was trying to get at. It was just interesting to me how all the short reigns, generally they were bad kings. Doesn't have to be, but they were. So Jehoaz is a bad guy. We've been reading the last few days how Josiah was this amazing guy. And if you will recall back to a few days ago, actually, I may not have covered this. I... I don't think I did cover this a few days ago. I think I was on vacation at this time. I covered it back at the time of the second book of 2 Kings. So a quick refresher course in 2 Chronicles chapter 33. Uh, just go back to whatever part in this video that you need to to reference the verses that I'm talking about if you like to follow me on Scripture. And actually, I would encourage you to do so. Don't just take my word for it. So, 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 1, Manasseh was 12 years old when he became king, and he reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. Very long reign, but he did evil in the sight of the Lord according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. And Manasseh was an incredibly wicked, foul, rotten king. He even uh, sacrificed his children to the various gods of the lands there. So we have an incredibly bad king, an incredibly good king, and then another bad king. And the overarching point to all of this that I'm pulling out of the passage is how our descendancy does not necess necessitate the way we live. That was really bad English. Good grief. <laughs> it was, it's not a matter of who's your mother and who's your father. You are your own person. You choose your own destiny. Just because you have a godly father... Godly mother, that doesn't mean you're necessarily going to be a godly person. If you have an incredibly wicked father and mother, that does not necessarily mean you're going to be a wicked person. Your parents obviously have a great influence on your life, but they don't determine the person you are. They don't determine the choices you make. You've got to make those calls. If they are f away from God, then it is your duty to turn aside from the way they brought you up and to follow Jesus Christ. And if they did follow Jesus Christ, and they brought you up in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, then it is your duty to obey your parents, to follow their example, and to not turn away, and to not be rebellious. Ultimately, the Lord and His Word choose what is right.
not what our parents do. So don't be overly discouraged if your parents were not quite the best people on earth. God loves you. He has a plan for your life, and He wants you to follow Him. And if your parents were in just incredibly godly, be thankful for your upbringing. You are blessed. I was not raised in a Christian home. I'm glad my mom came to Christ when I was 13. I'm glad she kind of pushed me in that direction. Incredibly thankful. I wish she had been a Christian for the entirety of my life and not waited till I was 13. Obviously, she had her own choices to make. She had to live her own life. But it would have been better for her and for me if she'd followed the Lord earlier. So be thankful if you have that as a blessing. Don't despise it. Don't rebel against it. Please. You are so blessed to have known the Lord in a second or possibly even more, third, fourth generation. That's an amazing, awesome thing. You have a godly heritage. Um, whereas my mom, she had to break a giant cycle of bad. So uh, apparently, I think she said her grandparents were Christians, but didn't rub off on her. And I and, and, and since her parents were Christians, it's possible that maybe I hope her grandparents were Christians, but there was some stuff she had to break away from. And there was some stuff she died with she didn't quite break away from. And there are things that I'm hoping to overcome myself. So having a godly heritage is by far the best. That's not something to be despised or rebelled against. That's something to be thankful for and to be followed. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.